Okay, so this is just a little addendum to the previous video, which had most of the stuff. There, there's a subtlety I, I didn't want to complicate that video, which is, so you should watch the previous video on gradient vectors and directional derivatives before this. So the key subtlety is this condition. If the gradient vector exists, then the directional derivatives are given in, in these terms, in this manner, okay? What that means is, or what I, rather I didn't say is that you can have a situation where the directional derivatives exist, but the gradient vector doesn't exist, in which case this formula doesn't hold, right? So you can have a situation where the directional derivative exists and the gradient vector doesn't, but if the gradient vector exists, then the directional derivative must exist. So in down here, mm -hmm. so existence of gradient vector which just means that the function is differentiable, right? So mm -hmm. the gradient vector is the derivative. So existence of gradient vector implies existence of directional derivatives in, is everything here? Mm -hmm. In all direction. Yeah. Well, I was asking about the camera. Yes. Uh, yeah, in all directions. However, you can have situations, and this is not the topic of this video, but you can have situations where directional derivatives exist in all directions, but the gradient vector doesn't exist. There are some of those weird counter examples. And the reason is that the gradient vector doesn't just capture what's happening along linear directions, it also captures sort of non-linear directions of approach. Whereas directional derivatives capture only linear. linear directions of approach. If you are if you are familiar with the idea that that continuity in linear directions doesn't imply continuity, then this example is also very similar. In fact, you can modify that same example and get get an example for this. Now, in particular, what that means is that at the generic point when I wrote this, I was abusing notation a bit. What I'm really saying is you have a conditional equality here. What it means is that Wherever the right side is defined, the left side is also defined and they're equal. But you could have situations where the left side is defined at some points and the right side isn't. So the domain of the left side could be bigger than the domain of the right side. Similarly here. 